Greetings, Silver here of the Freedom Players, and you are now tuned in to FTL Fast and Light. Um, uh, <laughs> since we lost the previous um, series or episode or whatever we're supposed to call it, this is the second run, um, we're going to play on normal this time, and another ship, we're going to use the Stealth Cruiser. Constructed for the Federation by the NG, this ship is designed to use cloaking technology and speed to get behind enemy lines. And I already got everything prepared. We are going to be called the Great Lurk, or just Great Lurk. Why Great Lurk? I have no idea, but it sounds silly. Um, our crew this time is going to be Narvik, Chaco, and Krabby. So that's going to be awesome. We start out a little bit different. Instead of shields, like we had with the Kestrel, um, we have uh, cloaking and no shields. We'll have to buy that. That's going to be expensive. Um, along with another vari variety of things, like better scanners and things. Uh, we also start with augment augmentations as the long-range long -ranged scanners which adds additional info about nearby beacons on the star map, and titanium system casing, which prevents damage done to systems, sometimes. But uh, we'll still damage this ship. So we'll start with this normal this time, so it's going to be a little bit trickier. We, we get a percent boost in score, but you know, I'm not really playing it for the score. I'm playing to win. Anyways, let's get going and hope that we'll survive. The, da the data you're carrying is vital to the main... Blah, blah, blah. We we've been through this. Tip. Asteroids. Fighting in asteroids field is dangerous, especially if you have a cloaking ship. Um, but use it to your advantage. Take out enemy shields and let the rocks take care of the rest. If I had shields, that is. If I had shields. Now I'm going to put the dual lasers in. We have less weapon slots this time, actually. Just fun fact. Um... Let's see, so we'll have uh, Narvik flying the thing, we'll put Chaco in the engine room, and uh, Krabby takes care of weapons. Yay, weapon boost. Alright, that's a great start, let's see what where we can go. We have uh, Asteroid Field, uh, Sun, mm, not really tempting, and we've got a store, and a store. Wow, this is a great start. We'll go through the store. Yay. There is only one other ship at this beacon, and it is showing heavy damage. You receive a message on your console. Greetings, traveler. We were crippled by a band of pirates and are now forced to sell our remaining valuable equipment to acquire the necessary supplies to get home. Continue. Oh, they have shields. Ah, uh, it's 150 scraps. That will take us forever to get, but once we get that thing, combine that with cloaking and... Wow, you, you don't even know. Oh, we get drones. We are not going to use drones. We'll grab some fuel, I guess. We'll need, we'll need that. We don't need missiles for this, and that's a good thing. Alright, let's see what we got. We can only go to... Unvisited possible ship detected. Alright, so we know a little bit of what we're getting ourselves into. You stumble across a forward scout of the Rebel Fleet. I think that thing will fly away and attack us. They are powering up their FTL. If they get away, they will no doubt warn the fleet of your position. Alright. And they got a drone. I think that's drone, that drone is only used for when... Um, um, you board them, which we are not going to. We are going to try and kill them. We'll disable their engines, whatever. Okay, first let's charge up our weapons, and let's... There they are, cloaking, at 60% evasion, I've been 85 now, 5 seconds, we'll wait until both weapons have charged, because dual lasers... The shields need to be on for the mini beam to work. As such, now let's see what are we going to destroy. I think we'll, um, we could probably do a little triple combination of things. Yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. Alright. Let's quickly fix up the shields again, and we'll do the same thing again. And there's nothing that can protect us except our brilliant dodging maneuvers. Good work on you, Narvik and Chaco. Oh yeah, dual lasers fixed. I forgot. Whoops. Oh well. Their ship breaks apart and you're relieved to know that you are one, still one step ahead of the fleet. We get a drone part, some fuel and some scrap. 
Now, on normal, you actually get less amount of scrap than uh, before, so... Let's see... more ships... Now, let's take this way around. It's, it's the beginning, so we can take it a little bit slow. A nearby space station hail, hails you. Greetings, your arrival is most fortious. For Tertius. We recently came across some extra drones. If you have some fuel, perhaps we can make a deal. No. I don't need drones. Oh, distress. I'll take this one first, then we'll check out the distress thing. Upon arriving at this beacon, you detect a distress call. Local scans reveal that the Federation transport is under attack from a rebel scout. We'll we'll try it. Let's let's go for it. All right, let's wait until the weapons have charged. We dodge it. Oh, we'll, um, weapons can't charge when um. Oh, they hit. Oh boy. Uh, okay, that's the oxygen. We'll just vent that. No wait, that's the scanners, never mind. Oxygen's over here. Oh, that's a little bit better. Okay, let's see if we can do triple. How? Look at that. That's beautiful. Okay, now we'll take a little while before our cloaking is back, so. Let's try and get rid of their shields. Oh boy. There's still fire in there. There we go. Mini beams almost done. We'll just take all of it again. Let's wait until the fire's gone. So many things you need to keep track on. Okay, fire's gone. Let's close all doors. There we go. With the ship destroyed, you quickly collect useful resources. That's some useful resources. <clears throat> Thank you for saving us! This ship is transporting Federation civilians on the run from the Rebellion, and we don't have the equipment to fight for ourselves. I don't have much to offer, but I can inform you of a hidden Federation base nearby. Perhaps they can assist you more. Added a quest marker to your map. Awesome, we get a quest. Now let's just go and fix that thing. Chaco, you know what to do. Yes, Chaco knows what to do. Let's grab some more power to our reactor. Increase the motor. So from 20% to 25% dodge. Cloak that and we'll add another 60% to it. And that's going to be awesome. Yes. All right, we got the internal sensors on. Good work, Chaco, good work. Chaco is credit to team. He is indeed credit to team. Also, here, here's a tip for you if you ever use the cloaking. Um, after you beat the scenario, wait until it has recharged because it doesn't do that while you jump. So if it's like, you know, two more all those rotating things before you jump, they will still be there when you return and then you have to wait. I will most likely forget. Anyway, so let's check out this distress call. Let's see what this is about. Oh, another 5% with Chaco in the engine room. Neat. You locate the source of the distress call in a nearby human mining colony. An unknown disease has spread virulently among the workers. They are trying to set up a quarantine to mitigate, mitigate um, the spread of the disease, but lack any enforcement. And a riot seems likely. Uh... I might risk losing, so sorry. Unfortunately, your mission is too important and you're not willing to risk your crew. You're prepared to move on. Oh, the quest sounds down there. Alright. We'll totally check out the quest. Why not? And we've been here before, so nothing happens. Let's we'll check out this quest and hopefully we can make it to the exit before the rebels find us. You search near coordinates given to you, but your search yields no results. Perhaps they were mistaken. Long range scanners. Your improved scanners pick a faint signature, pick faint signatures of what appears to be a storage space hidden under the rock. You find the access point and discover a weapon cache, cache, weapon cache, whose Federation signal emitter has malfunctioned. Scrap 13, weapon hull beam. Oh yeah. What does this thing do? This beam is most powerful when targeting large empty sections of a hull. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Doesn't deal much damage though. Maybe if we could upgrade our weapons, we could replace something with it. Hmm. Yes. Yes, quite. We need more scrap though. 
All right, it's time to run. I'd love to stay and chat, but you know, Federation, actual the rebels. <laughs> oh boy, I'm starting to run low on fuel already. Well, that's a great start. You're right at the long range beacon. Uh, scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Short range scanners may discover useful material while we wait for the FTL to restart. Let's try it. Oh! You happen upon an abandoned mining site. A few mining drones were left behind and could be repurposed. Some drone parts and some scrap. Neat. Okay, before we do that, do I want to upgrade my weapons? Maybe I should upgrade the drones. Let's go for the weapons. Oh! I could upgrade that now. Cloaking is always nice to have more, more cloaking. Mm. Mm. Ah, well, let's jump and see where we end up. Civilian or Sultan controlled. Oh, well, it's a lot of green on this one. I don't think we'll die that much. Let's go to the civilian. If anything, we could sell the whole beam. All right, let's or let's move. Let's move out. Let's find some ships. Mm. You detect an automated rebel scout attacking a small refueling outpost. Oh, uh, that thing is really powerful. Eh, we'll try it. Alright. First things, we have two types of weapons here. Um, the dual lasers has to destroy the shields, otherwise the minibeam can't do anything. And that thing is targeting nothing in particular. Alright. Alright, there we go. We'll destroy some engines as well. Okay. Shields are going up again. And there's our sensors. Okay. And I won't be able to find the beam before that thing goes up. So we'll just do that. And it hits our weapons. Of course it hits our weapons. Oh, we have to wait until that thing. Oh, we got a fire! Oh boy, oh boy. Krabby, just just help a little bit. And we'll get weapons up and going again. Oh boy, oh boy. Shields are at least down, that's good. Okay, and let's kill some weapons. Oh boy. That iron. Oh boy, and we got more fires. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. How much can you take? You can't attack back, that's good, that's good. Now die! Well, it's a robot, then. I think it can die, technically, but... Um, anyways. We get some stuff. The outpost hails you after the scout was destroyed. Thanks for the help. We've been harassed non-stop by those scouts. Take this on the house. Yay. We get stuff. I love stuff. Alright, everyone. Fix what you're doing, and then head to the infirmary. Or the medic bay, or whatever you want to call it. Everyone's taking some damage. I think I'm going to save my um, scrap, though, and might... Um... Alright, Krabby, back to your station. Chaka, back to your station. Narvik, back to your station. You're doing excellent jobs, all of you. Pat yourselves on the back. Alright. Let's see. Maybe some more cloaking, that's always nice to do that. And there goes most of our scrap budget. And there's a store! Perfect! Just just perfect. What happens here? Mmm, nothing special. Let's check the store, see what we can find. Maybe sell the hull beam. Buy something nice. You find yourself surrounded by a group of mysterious alien vessels. They hail you and apparently have some valuable technology for sale. This and that, and those. 35, we'll sell that. Why not? Let's fix our ship. That's important. We can't sell anything. Let's... Oh, alright. I think this is a good spot to end. Where can we go next? Yep. We'll continue exploring the space of the civilian sector in the next episode of FTL Fast and Light. I'll see you then.